This will be an exciting match. We're still best three out of five. Topsy, boundary set in gray. And in blue, Shan Shan, as they call her at table ten at Triangle Table Tennis. Guo Jiang Shan. Um, one of the only female players to qualify into the single elimination round. Long pips on the back end. And one of the bigger upsets of the tournament beating number two seed Zhang Chun in the over 1800 event, which took place on Friday. Really, really nice blocking. We saw some of that from her yesterday as well. And just something that um, people like Nanti Chan aren't used to seeing every day. It's not only unique for players coming from China, but also unique in the United States. Yanji Shan's serve is still really difficult, but because Shan Shan has long pips, she may be able to do something different, do something interesting with them. Put Yanji Shan off guard. And the different pace can be tricky. And it's not really a loop. It's very much a smash. It's very, very quick. Nanji san thinking about taking the defensive route. It's tough because of it's tough because of the long pips. The serve receive is the tough part. You can see Nanji san feeling a little out of the element. He's so used to getting so much benefit from his serve, that sometimes when you play a player who has long pips, the serve becomes much less useful. Shan Shan here in blue has to be a little careful though. It's very easy to lose this early lead. She's playing well. Lots of hometown support. She's here at Triangle. I see for the girlfriend of UD that we just saw. That was an interesting net dribbler. Nanji's not trying to attack more, getting into his element. Less surprised by what's happening. Sometimes the part about long pips is you can only trick someone out for so long, and then there are some limitations. And so she's thinking, how do I win this first game? Oh, it's a little unforced error. It's getting a little nervous. She was leading 7-4. Now it's 8-7. That was the right idea. Let's see if she does something similar. There you go. Again, her forehand is not a loop. It's very much a smash. The pace change can be really difficult. And that backhand block, so good, so good with the long pips. So extremely difficult. Extremely difficult to block. Here it takes that first game. A really, really good match. She is really expert user of those long pips. Super powerful and very, very impressive in how she can kind of block the ball as if she had inverted. Uh, this is really difficult. You see a lot of people with long pivs only know how to chop on their backhand. Uh, but she can actually block and even roll the ball 
the amount of touch that you need to do that is incredible. And it's really showing. Also the fact that her forehand is not a loop, it's very much a smash, uh, just gives her more credit to the touch that she needs to have. What's also dangerous about this style is that if your touch is off, you'll make a lot of mistakes. The top spin that loops have actually caused the ball to hit the table more often. No spin serve. Very well placed for him, loop. Clever. It's be tricky when you play with long pips. All right, now you said not used to this backhand. Not used to not having so much control over how people are returning his serves. What I find interesting is that Vanderson is not deciding to serve long into her backhand. I mean, that a lot of players typically do when they play long pips. And the touch is so difficult. It's amazing to see her even roll some of these blocks. Real. Madison taking her out wide into her forehand where she's still using her backhand pips to make the shot. See, his serves are still difficult to return with inverted. And Andison's finding his way. It's not like the two have not played before. In the over 1800 round robin, they played in the final together. Not just then coming out on top in that match. Blocking, making uh, just no work for it. Really big edges. And you saw Lani said not only was that wide, but it was still kind of short, which made it difficult to for him to anticipate. He kind of ran too far back. It's a close second game. Still anyone's match, anyone's game. Going back to this backhand serve. Smart, actually, against the lefty to go side top into the lefty's forehand push. Definitely a weak place for a lot of lefties. Nice side spin. Nice backhand loop. Very, very deep. Oh, nice block. For Santa in blue, she needs a little more continuity. Magic is finding his way again in terms of serve and attack. He's serving very wide into her forehand. Four game points. A little bit of a wild back and didn't hit the table. 10, now he has that serve attack combination down. Eight, one, one. 
Nanti Sen is just all over it. That serve attack combination is all that he needs uh, for him to win. And every time I've seen Nanti Sen win, his serve attack has been extremely successful. And every time I've seen him struggle, it's when people don't have trouble with his serve or return his serve in a way that is very tricky for him. And then it almost immediately the game has a different feeling. For those of you tuning in, we're at the 2017 Butterfly Southeastern Open, a new event on the Butterfly North American Tour. It's, uh, designed to be very similar to the Carry Cup in a giant round robin format. We're hoping to grow this event so that it has just as many players as the Carry Cup and continue to promote table tennis in this North Carolina Triangle area and beyond. Oh, wow, double bounce back and drop. Beautiful first point. Really spinny forehand loop. Nice touch. You know, she was really smashing that forehand before, but her ability to spin under spin in a tricky way, very in line with playing the long pip style. It's so difficult to block a shot like that with long pips. Critical game three, very critical in a best of five. Yeah, now Jason, if he has that serve attack, if he has it, then the game is all his. But sometimes, sometimes he doesn't, and everything changes. Going for the backhand serve. Maybe short to the forehand for Lanji Sen. Yep, there it is. On well, two unforced errors, really, from Shan Shan and Blue. Perhaps getting a little bit too eager. A little bit tough. She needs to win these points on the anti ten serve to really stay in it. Nice return into the middle, a bit of surprise. Six four. Nice smash right into the middle. Really, really good placement. That's how you have to play. It's tough. Very spinny backhand. Well placed. Again, a critical third game in this best of five. A okay, serve return again. Number one thing when you're playing the Anji Sun is get that serve return on. So close, really good blocking. Well. 
Where you see Manchin make those errors is just in that backhand. Make that forehand again, serve return, number one. If you can get it, you're golden. If you can't, you're going to be in big trouble. Just to get this on. Well, it's close. Almost dribbled over. Nanjusan takes a 2-1 lead. And we're looking at a big, contentious match, although I feel that Nanji san is gaining momentum, really pushing her on the serve receive, and no longer very surprised in terms of how she's playing and how she's returning the serve. We'll see in game four if she can pick up any more additional mistakes from Nanji san from her serve receive, if she can do something new or interesting. That will really change the game around again. And we'll see something more similar than what we saw in, in game one. Where she really came out of the gate, really surprising for him. I have to continue to bring this variation and have these different tools and tricks. Go game four. Too high on that serve. Yanji san never want to hesitate to attack, smacks it into the corner. There you go, shorter. And she was going for that down the line shot. It's right. It's the right strategy, just not the right execution. Timeout from Shan Shan's side. She's feeling a little bit anxious from those first two serves. Just looking, I think this is more of a mental timeout than anything else. Looking to get herself excited and psyched up and playing every point at a time again. Nice serve receive. Good placement out wide. Hopefully this mental timeout worked for her. She's going to need it. Oh, the serve return from her forehand side still going to be a problem in this match if she's not going to be able to do 100% of the time. Hey, it's working. That same combination, serve short, use that backhand long pipes to go deep into the backhand. It's worked quite a few times. Keep bringing those little tricks to stay in. Let's serve three all in this fourth game. Four, three. It's gonna be really tough for her. She's thinking, should I receive with that forehand? Should I use the pips and risk that issue that she had? It's a little lucky. That keeps her in the game, four all. She was a little slow to get to that forehand. Could mean all the difference here. A little too high on that serve. Same mistake. You can see her getting a little anxious. <laughs> Another net. Like I said, it keeps her in the game and 
you know, nuts and edges are part of the skill that you have. And they're a little lucky, but you can't get them unless you know what you're doing. Stays in the game, six all. Wow, long serve deep into the back. I haven't seen that yet this game. Seven six. <laughs> She's got about four nets this game, keeping her in. She can take it, it'll be a big deal. And a fifth game would mean something very risky for Lanji Sun. The eleven points can go super quickly. Eight six. Looking for a serve attack. You can see it. When you see Nanji Sen not smashing, it makes a big difference. Like I said, if people can control the serve. Nice blocking. Beautiful blocking. Again, when you see someone's long place able to roll that backhand block, really amazing. 10-6, four game points right here. Tie up the match 2-2. Two, two. See if she can take it. She's used her timeout. It's very critical as she thinks of the right serve here. I'm wondering if she'll go with that backhand serve. Try to go into Nanji Sen's backhand. Two more match or two more game points. She needs to think about how she's going to return the serve. Serve return is everything. And it's all in your mentality. Last game point. Stay focused. Nanjutan does not want to play game five. Go five points in a row. Nanjutan first match point, 11 10. Nanjutan is interesting. Still very relaxed, very confident. There it is. Randy Sen claims his final spot. 12 10 in the fourth. Close match. She's up 10 to 6. And as we know, it's never over until it's really over. Um, and again, Ji Shen does not want to play. That fifth game is too risky for this top seed. Mentally, it's tough when you're playing against an opponent and you're leading. Uh, if you let up at all, your opponent will take over, obviously take over, um, and make these huge shots, because they're very capable of that. And if you let up, you'll give them that opportunity. And the only way to not have them take that opportunity is to continue to play like you were, continue to play aggressively, 